we did mention earlier on that there's a lot of people like sitting watching you guys and literally in awe of what you've been able to create, right, for yourselves. And I'm sure there's certain things that you've learned along the way. And as a, as a, as a soundbite, you know, because there's going to be people who are going to go on the social media platforms to watch back this, you, uh, the, the, this talk from you guys. Three things, like bullet points, that you think that if you're an up-and-coming artist, um, human being, uh -huh. um, parent, what is it? What are those three things that I should take as my arsenal? Uh, in terms of if you want to be successful in yeah. anything that you do? Yeah. Well, in my, I'll start for me, I can talk in the, in the perspective of music and in business yeah. and in many other ways. Uh, number one thing to re remember is you might not be as good as you think you are at, at, at what you're doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> number one. Uh, number two, if, if, if you, you must be absolutely obsessed you must be absolutely obsessed with whatever it is. Like, I'm, I believe that I'm the type of person, and, and, and uh, as Prof uh, said, if, if, even if I was uh, a janitor, I'd be the best janitor in the world. Yeah. You know, you, you have to have that kind of mindset. Yeah. And number three is um, don't, don't, be, don't, don't be too afraid to, to fail. Yeah. Don't be too afraid to make mistakes. You, you're never going to know, you, you know, you have to make mistakes. You have to fail sometimes yeah. so that you can, you know, re-up and, and come back stronger and, and harder. Yeah. Got you. Um, uh, I, think, I think for me, like, I don't know if I have three things, but yeah. the first thing that pops to mind is one of the hardest things I think about what, what we do and I think what people look at is that, is how do you define success? And I think that, like, fame... Fame really bores me. Like, I, I'm not really interested in fame. That's not what makes me successful. Yeah. What makes me successful is that I'm a really good husband and I'm a really good father. You know, I mean that. And I mean that. I mean that in the... And, and I'm a... And, and on top of that... On top of that, I'm a really... And I, and I say this not in an arrogant way. I say this in a way that, like, I know who I am. Yeah. I know that I'm a really good person. Yeah. And for me, that, that, that's where I, I keep my success, is that, yeah. like, for me, we need to define what is success. And I promise you that success is not what the TV or the Instagram portrays. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. the other day, I was speaking to a comedian, and he said he could be Trevor Noah if he wanted to. Yeah. And I found that quite interesting. And I said to him, please, explain yeah. to me yeah. why you're not Trevor Noah. And I'll explain to you at least what I got from it. You know, when I, was, when I started my career, I wanted to be world famous. Yeah. Like, I wanted to be really famous because I knew that the more famous I, could, I, I got, the more people I could influence and yeah. I could shift the culture. Because I think that the music culture, like, it irritates me to a point because we wonder why certain things are happening, but we're the, we're the ones talking about it. You know, yeah. we're the ones promoting it and showing it on TV and so forth. But for me, like, I, I just, the whole going back to the comedian thing. And I've never really spoken about this and I don't plan on speaking this more, but I'm going to say it here. Um, I wanted to be really famous, and then when I went, I went seven years into my career, I had my, I had my son for the first, my firstborn, yeah. and it shifted my whole mentality completely. Yeah. Like fame and success and money and all this other crap for me, like did, it just lost its relevance. Yeah. And all I wanted to be, and all I want to be, is happy. Yeah. And my happiness is not found in my money or my fame. My happiness is found majority of the time with my close friends and my, my family. Yeah. So what he was saying was, it comes at a trade-off, yeah. right? If you want to be world famous, if you want Sweep South to be the biggest app in the whole wide world, you probably, it's going to come at a cost that I don't know if you're willing to take that cost. And, yeah. and I think with success for us, define your value system and define how far you're willing to go and realize that the higher you go, the more trade-offs there are. And that the higher you go, you might find more money, but you might have less time with the people that re you really love. I, uh... yeah. Why do I keep speaking after this man? You know? <laughs> I chose to sit there also. I Should have just went there. Yes, boy. I don't have no lighters. <laughs> I'm not married. And my girlfriend's probably gonna leave as well, man. <laughs>
So let me give you my three steps. <laughs> now that you know you're dealing with. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Faith. Yeah. There is a God. Yes. I came here with a kufia on my head because there is a God. Yeah. And I believe in him. Because if all this evil is going on outside you, nah, it's not even a joke. It's not even a joke. I've seen a totally other side of life that most of you in this room watch on TV. You just watch it on documentaries and then you feel pain when you watch it. I see it in real life. But if that evil and that negativity exists in this world, then that means there must be a light. There has to be. Because if there's that much darkness, then that means there is immense light as well. So I believe that God is the designer of all of this. All of this. He's designed by the Almighty. I believe in it. That no matter how much of a strong world person you are, and no matter how much you think of yourself and how good and talented you are, it came from somewhere higher than you. Always remember that. That's number one. Is faith in the unseen. That's number one. Number two, exert yourself. It means come home tired. It means you must have sleepless nights. It means that every dying second, obsess yourself. Every dying second of the day, that passion and that gift or whatever it is that it is you believe in yourself that you have, that is all you want to work on. That's all that occupies your thoughts. Why do you think my girlfriend's going to leave me? Because <laughs> the only thing that occupies my thoughts is that. I'll be waking up in the middle of the night rapping verses, maybe, you know? <laughs> She's thinking I'm mentioning Kana's names. and I'll be like, no, 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 it's a verse, baby. It's a verse. Just, just go back to sleep. It's a verse. It's just a verse that I thought of right now, right now. So, always make sure that you are putting your body through strenuous amounts of work. Because this is what you want to do. If you don't want to do it, then trust me, don't even start. If you don't really believe that you have the determination or the hunger, because there's other people who are ten times hungrier than you, who's not going to have the opportunity that you have now. So, number two, exert yourself. To make whatever amount of money you believe you deserve. Because trust me, there's people out there working ten times harder to keep that money away from you. And last, but certainly not least, passion. You have to have some sort of a passion for what you do. I love rap music, but I'm also passionate about creativity. We studied guys like Jay-Z and Master P and Puff Daddy. We saw that those owners didn't just rap, they enterprised. But they were still passionate about the creative side, like you were saying, not losing it. Look at this. Look at this here. That's my company logo on a grasshopper. This jacket is made by a designer for Y Gen. The t shirt I'm wearing underneath is Y Gen. I wear my own clothes now. I sell my own clothes now. I acquired my first shop now. And a month later, I acquired the second one. Soon, I'm going to acquire a whole building where I'm going to open my own studio, my own offices. And you know what the best part of all of it is? Is that next door to me, my mother is going to get her first business next door to my shop. All based on my passion for the music that I started creating. Alhamdulillah. There is nothing better than that. So those are the three things that I can say to you that I have applied in my journey. is the faith, exerting myself, and being passionate in what I do. Salud. To live better means uh, being in the pursuit of balance. Okay. I, I, you know, for me, the most important thing is balance in my life. It's a never-ending, never-ending uh, adventure. 
and in order to live better you must have more balance in your life it's like the holy grail of life to have balance and that is what i'm, I'm always chasing and um, living better also means staying true to yourself stay true to yourself and do what's best for yourself and your family uh living better it's such a it's such a big question to answer you know it's, it means a lot of different things for me but i think living better i think for me what i think of straight away is to be honest with myself and with the people around me because i think when you are honest you being yourself and when you're being yourself you're being true and i think that that for me just helps a lot it, it it's, it's 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 easy being you it's really hard trying to be what the world thinks you should be it's easier just to be yourself so i think that for me is what live better means it's, i i feel like i'm living better when i'm being true to myself you know i would say self-improvement be better than you were yesterday man. if it's going to be about living better then try and be in a, in a better position than you were last month or last week or try and be a better human being to somebody that you were a bit you know offish with or try and mend family bonds or try and be a bit closer with people that you have resented you know that's what i i take living better as your character you know we can say like yeah i mean look after yourself and eat right and exercise and all of those things i mean you know those are all byproducts of living but if your character is weak, then you're never ever gonna have a better life. But if you are kind to those around you, if you if you always display your humanity, if you are charitable in your acts, then you can just live better by you know just being just being humble on this earth. Because you know we're all equal at the end of the day, and yeah, one day you know we're gonna lay in this land. But while we're walking on it, let's try and own some of it. You know what I mean? And and let's also be mindful of our fellow human and our fellow women as well. You know what I mean? We have to take care of the women of this world. We have to take care of our, our kids in this world. So for me, it's all about character. But if you have a good character, then you're going to love better. Once again, th gents, thank you so much for, for staying even longer than you were supposed to. And um, all the best in everything that you guys are about to do. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.